Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Titanium Taco here today with the Bulbasaur Evolution line with Mega Venusaur figure pack, trainer's choice pack, you know, you know the gist. I have once opened one of these before, or I don't know how many times I've opened these actually. Because I remember I have... I've got the Venusaur, I mean, the Sceptile, Mudkip, and Torchic, I mean, Trico, I have those. I don't think I ever reviewed them on the channel, though. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, this is the, um, yeah, Bulbasaur. And really quick, before I go on any further, this is the back of the Evolution figure pack that I recently opened, uh, just showing the other packs you could get uh, with Sylveon, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Just forgot to mention. Sorry, but without further ado, we'll get into this, and here's the back, just so I don't make the same mistake, it's just featuring all four Pokemon. Anyways, and this time I have actually opened it beforehand. Like, take off the tape, like, I'm not gonna like, open it and then like, Put everything back and yeah, yeah. Anyways, just one more starter Kento starter to go, which is Squirtle. I don't know how I'm gonna get that because there's actually no trainer's choice evolution line with like the mega evolution, but there is that that um nine pack. The the so if you guys remember that. Johto starter line with all the starters. Um, there's actually one for Kento, and I think just recently they released one for Hoenn. So, yeah, so you guys have the chance to do get that. And I got mine at GameStop, so that's where most likely they will be at. Or you can get yours in Toys R Us because that's also where I've seen them. If you're living in the U.S., of course, <clears throat> I would not. Oh shoot! No, maybe kill you ruined everything. <laughs> um, it's okay, maybe kill. I love you. Anyways, I would not recommend trying like toy. Uh, not that Target or Walmart, because I've been there many, many times, and they really don't have anything that's Pokemon. Like, well, they do. They just don't have Pokemon figures, which stinks. But yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Ah, what the heck is up with this? Oh, I see, I see. There's stuff. Anyways. Yeah, and then next year, January, or I don't know when this is being uploaded, honestly. But January, they will release uh, Sinnoh starters. So that's cool. I'm gonna definitely get that one. And as for Unova and Kalos and Alola, that still remains a mystery. And I don't know if they'll be doing any for Alola and Kalos and Unova. But that took me three minutes to freaking open. Get out of here. But yeah. Starters. That's, that's what's happening. Oh shoot. Really quick, I gotta take out the cards. Oh, come on. Okay. Here is the little trainer tape cards, I think. That's what it says. Trainer's choice, no. Anyways, this is Bulbasaur's. Here's all his information. Uh, Ivysaur's. All his information. And and then Venusaur and Mega Venusaur are basically... Oh, shoot. Venusaur and Me Mega Venusaur are basically the same. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, okay. So, apparently, Mega Pokemon are just a bit bigger and everything. But, anyways, we are here to look at figures, not cards. Huh. Come on, 
Come on. Urgh. Okay, there we go. Here we have Bulbasaur. Okay, there we go. I was about to rotate my camera, which I cannot actually. Anyways, this is Bulbasaur. Very nice painting. Um, oh, this one has got the problem though, the, the copyright stuff being carved in. But all right, it's all right, it's all right. Cool figure, I love the design, I really do. Very cute Pokemon. I, honestly, I don't even have to say this anymore. All of these have great paint. Just, just know that. Great paint, great sculpting, and yeah. So let us go into Ivysaur. Um, also great detail on all of them. Tomy does not skip out on their details. On most of their figures, there are a couple that they uh, skip out on. As for the copyright stuff, where is the co Oh, it's under here and not carved in. Excellent, excellent. Very good choice to make. I love the little flower, like, it's blossoming. Very, very cool. Again, great detail and everything. Oh, I guess this is the only problem right here. But, hey, come on. One out of four, maybe? And here's the copyright stuff carved in, but unseenable, so that's good. But here is Venusaur. Um, sadly, they did not include Venusaur as super-sized. They regular-sized him in this set, which I was hoping that they would do super-sized, which is kind of weird that they didn't do super-sized. But, yeah. But, as for Mega Venusaur, this is actually a pretty big figure. This figure, definitely super-sized. Like, just compare... To Venusaur, like, my gosh, this is supposed to be like Venusaur right here, regular Venusaur, but with like out the big giant flower and everything. But like, still, like, come on, come on, Pokemon. Let's. I'm. I'm eventually gonna buy a a Venusaur, super sized, just like I did the Charizard. As you can see, there's my smaller Charizard. But recently, I reviewed a larger Charizard, the super sized Charizard. Again, again, again. Great sculpting and great paint and just awesome figure. Really quick, before I actually end off the video and don't mention this. Articulation is a thing with the super size figures. So you can move all... Oh shoot, I, I'm not even showing you guys that. You can move all four of his legs however you want. Which is great for posing. But anyways... That is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.